Hey, what's up, guys? This is Aaron from Damn Fast FPV, and thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, coming to the channel and checking out the content we have. Um, today, we're here to do a quick video about ultralight props and uh, what I've been using lately and what seems to be working. And uh, we're going to show you a sneak peek of these new gym fan props that I've been testing out. Um, first, I'd like to start talking about this Dow prop right here. It's a uh, the 51 uh, the, sorry about that the 5051 dow prop it's their racing prop it's kind of old but actually it's one of the lightest props i could find when i started building these ultralights um, and it weighs in at 3.3 uh, grams but you'll notice here that weight is really well distributed there's not much mass on the tip of the prop most of the mass is in that center hub and it's about uh, seven and a half millimeters tall which you'll see in the other two props that uh, they've cut down quite a bit of weight in that area. Uh, next prop that I've really been liking um, up until now is the gym, or the uh, HQ Ethics S4 prop. And it's also very light. It's only at 3.6 grams. But as you can tell, uh, the tips of the prop are a little bit wider. So uh, the weight distribution is a little more linear throughout the prop. And also that hub is really narrow. It's actually uh, just a little under six and a half millimeters thick right there. And now this is the one. This is the new uh, Gym Fan 5125 Ultralight Prop. It is very thin and low profile. It is only uh, five and a half millimeters thick in the hub. And guess what? It's only 2.8 grams. This is one of the lightest props tri-blades for five inch that I have ever seen and it is definitely the lightest one I have ever tried. Now I've ran about five packs through these props. I got set up on my ultralight rig. The all up weight on a 5S pack is just under 230 grams but with these props it, it just handles so much more like a toothpick. It is ridiculous. The ultra lightness of the prop and where the weight's distributed it really makes for a really quick spooling prop and it gives it a lot of uh, low RPM control I guess I'd like to say and uh, the thing that you notice about ultralights is that to get them under 250 grams you got to use pretty light motors for a 5 inch you have to use like 1806's or 1506's or soon to be 20 motors that are going to be filling the gaps in between the 22 sizes and the 18 size but uh, those undersized motors I don't feel like they're able to spool up those heavier props and allow you to have that real fine control at low RPM like they do all right when you're just cruising but to have the maneuvers where you just snap and roll it doesn't seem like it's as crisp because the motors are like really struggling to speed it up and slow it down because of how big a prop it is but uh that also leads me to talk about just that weight distribution and how thin these are right at the tips it it's just effortless for this motor to spin it up and i think that also helps account for a lot of the prop wash that i see especially in toothpicks it's it's really difficult to tune out that prop wash because the props don't don't want to spin up or decelerate very quickly um, also uh, talking about these ultralights the beta FPV board has really been a godsend this thing can handle 6s voltage and I believe with these types of builds having all that power available is really a game changer when it comes to efficiency and uh, just the available power and current ready to accelerate and decelerate the motors in flight the easier it is, the better the craft is going to perform, especially for long range. I mean, a lot of people don't think about how much the prop is accelerating and decelerating during a long range flight. I mean, even if you're trying to be really efficient and you're not giving a whole lot of stick inputs, the craft is still doing micro adjustments using the pig loop to keep it under control. So even if you're not inputting it, that motor is going to accelerate and decelerate and accelerate and decelerate to keep it on the heading that you're after because of wind and other various outside factors. But uh, the overall duration of those micro adjustments 
on a heavy prop adds up to a lot of consumption of voltage over time. But if you have a lightweight prop, and it's very easy for that motor to spin up or down the speed of that motor, the overall amounts of times that it has to micro adjust over a long range flight, it really makes a difference. So you're probably going to notice an efficiency gain of anywhere from four or five percent or higher just because the prop isn't having the motor to work as hard. And again, this is like over a 15 or 20 minute flight, you're going to notice an additional minute or two um, just because it's, it's easier in total for the system to operate. So those are my thoughts. Check out these new props. Let me know if you want us to carry them in the store. Uh, I'm really in love with them. So if, if everybody wants to have easy access to them here in the United States, I know there's not really many dealers that are carrying these props right now. But uh, just let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about ultralight 5 inch. What you think about it for freestyle or for long range. And again, it's pretty nice because you don't got to register it. It's easy. Just take it out flat. It's a toy. All right, guys. Have a good one. Happy flying. Keep it fast. Peace.